Well, I hope you're doing well today, and we're coming down now to the end of our study of the Gospel of John. I was thinking about that the other day. I'm going to miss the Gospel of John. It has been just a, a delightful study, such marvelous food for the soul. This Sunday, we're going to be in John 20, verses 19 to 31. It's a fascinating passage because it's now um, the evening of the resurrection. And so by now, um, there have been some appearances where, where Jesus has explained to people that he's alive. But, but the, the disciples are not sure they believe that yet. Uh, the women have said he is, but, but they're not sure they believe it. So in the evening, uh, they're all huddled together, uh, apart from Ty Thomas, but the rest of them are huddled together. And the passage says they've, they've got the doors locked for fear of the Jews. And the resurrected Jesus walks through the wall. So that shows when you're trusting um, in a locked door, that doesn't get you very far. But what is fascinating is what Jesus does not say to his frightened disciples who have not yet believed in his resurrection. And it's fascinating what he does. Because very clearly, three times in the passage, he says, peace be with you. Doesn't that tell you a lot about our Savior? Peace be with you, peace be with you. And if you're wondering um, what would Christ want you to have or me to have, um, if we know him as Savior and Lord, he wants us to have his peace. And then what's additionally fascinating is later in the text, uh, Thomas is there. And he's made it clear, I don't believe. And unless I can put my finger in the wounds in his side and in his hands, I won't believe. Ooh. Be careful what you say, be careful what you wish for. But isn't it amazing, even with a person like that, Jesus appears again and he says, well, Thomas, if that's what you need, go ahead and do that. A and he offers him peace at, at his moment of doubt. A again, what an incredibly gentle savior that we love and serve. So I think this passage is gonna be um, very, very helpful, very, very challenging for each and every one of us. So I would encourage you to meditate on that passage. I would also encourage you, if you have a friend who doesn't know the Lord and you've been looking for an opportunity to invite them to church, wow, this would be a great passage. Because if they're wondering, well, how would Jesus relate to me, especially because I've lived a life in, in fear or doubt? We know the answer. Peace be unto you. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday.